Should be an incredible danger as long as she's with him. For who? He protected her. You almost killed her. I give you my word, her yeah. safety is my main concern at this point. I don't know this geezer, but I'm on his side. I like him. But I just feel bad because I want you to be heartbroken at the end of it because I want the Hulk and Mrs. Elizabeth Ross, or whatever her name is, to get together. Sorry, mate. Win some, you lose some. So how long does he need to stay like that? How, when and how does he return to normal? Does he just need to chill the fuck out, calm down, pop a valley, pour himself a dirty martini, and see how it goes? Fusion is going to do something to this healing process, isn't it? It's going to speed it up. And then come tomorrow, it's going to turn up at the office and be like, what did I miss? Hi. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I feel a lot better. Good. I just, um, I just had to get my data back. You ate it? Well. Yeah, he did. The circumstances called for a little improvisation. Wow. It was either an oral option or an anal option. You're not really allowed to be kissing him as much as you is, girl. Considering you got a partner. Oh, fine. Ignore me. What am I, chopped liver? See, I knew his heart rate would go up if he was going to have sex. Don't do it. It's dangerous. Your uterus is going to be in bits, babes. We, we can do this. It's okay. I want to. No. No. I can't. Wait, can he never have sex? I wonder why he's so fucking angry all the time. I'm so annoyed that he has recovered. He is going to be a nuisance moving forward. A proper fool in my side. Pissed off and ready for round three. Oh, do you know what? I applaud you actually and your commitment and your persistence. Samuel Stearns is Mr. Blue. Is that right? And if so, and then he found out his identity, that's going to be an issue. But then it's still you inside him. No, it's not. I don't know. In the cave, I really felt like it knew me. Maybe your mind is in there. It's just overcharged and can't process what's happening. I don't want to control it. I want to get rid of it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, um, you probably do want to control it, babes. So he doesn't necessarily have all his cognitive functions and thoughts when he's turned into the wildebeest that is the Hulk. I think the subway's probably quickest. Me in a metal tube deep underground with hundreds of people in the most aggressive city in the world? Right. Let's get a cab. Come on, now! Let's go! Let's go! Maybe you should have got the underground <clears throat> subway, as they say in America. What's the matter, you? baby? You don't like a good ride? Ah! Ah! You know, I know 
know a few techniques could help you manage that anger very effectively. You zip it. We're walking. <laughs> Luckily, she ain't the Incredible Hulk, or else the whole entire city will be smashed up by now. Excuse me, Dr. Stearns. Yes? I'm sorry to bother you. I'm Elizabeth Ross. Oh, Dr. Ross. I have someone who'd like to meet you. Okay. Mr. Green, meet Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue, isn't it? Yeah, in the flesh. We overshoot this by even the smallest integer. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with concentrations with extraordinary levels of toxicity. So you mean it could kill him? Kill him, yeah. If we induce me and it fails, this will be very dangerous for you. <laughs> Look, I've always been more curious than cautious. And that served me pretty well, so... Are we gonna do this? I say let's do it. Fuck it. What's the worst that can happen? He's gonna die. Oh wait, no, that's quite a bad thing to happen, isn't it? Ooh, see I'm kind of more intrigued to see what's happening with this geezer. I mean the Hulk's already the Hulk. This man's becoming something. Do you know what? I know it's like affecting your daily life and you got to live homeless and you're always on the run. However, I don't think this is the best time to try and look for a cure, you know. This scary superpower that you have is like your only defence at the moment because these bitches are still coming after you. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this cure, it didn't work. Oh wait, so we hasn't even had the antidote yet. Oh okay, they were just triggering their transformation. And now we're testing it out. See, this is what I shouldn't assume. I just make an ass out of you and me. Oh, uh, it works. Can't we just bottle that shit up and take it as and when we need it? Well, sometimes it's going to want to have to transform and fuck some people up. And other times, he just wants to have sex. Maybe we've neutralized those cells permanently, or maybe we just suppressed that event. I'm inclined to think the latter, but it's hard to know because none of our test subjects ever survived. Of course, they wait, weren't wait, getting wait, the primer. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Test subjects? What test subjects? There's more? This is all you. You didn't send me much to work with, so I had to concentrate it and make more. Wait, what? I don't think he signed up for this shit when he offered you a sample of his blood, you know. I hate the government just as much as anyone, but you're being a little paranoid, don't you think? Oh, shit! He's been tranquilized. Take it out of him. Suck that shit out of his hole. Oh, Wolski! Oh. Why would you have to do that to him, though? He won't gonna be able to transform because he's got the antidote in him. How's he gonna escape wherever they're gonna take him? He's a fugitive. You made him a fugitive to cover your failures. Yeah. And to protect your career. Go on, Betty. Never speak to me as your daughter again. Well. From what I can gather, you had quite a strained relationship anyway, so, bye bitches. It's not like I can put together the same Humpty Dumpty, if that's what you're asking. He was a freak accident. The goal is to do it better. So Banner's the only one to what are you doing? You're just attacking everyone now. Oh, bitch. Why are you always hitting people? <laughs> seen what he becomes, right? I have. And it's beautiful. Godlike. Oh, 
Maldita Manguera. No, Wolski. You is like a power mad addict. I don't want no multiple hulks going around because then that makes my hulk not very special. But clearly it works. Let's assume you don't understand a word I'm saying, but if you'll just get back on the table, I can fix this. Oh no, Mr. Blue, you went from the funny guy to the bad guy, quick time. Wait, wait, what's going on with his head? What's going on with your head, babes? Hopefully the military don't understand that Wolski is now a Hulk, and so they go and fuck him up. And leave my Bruce Banner alone. General, you should hear this. The Hulk is in the street, I repeat, the Hulk is in the street! No, he's not, he's in captivity. Oh, wait, so are they now going to use our incredible Hulk? to destroy the makeshift Hulk. So he went from captive to ally real quick. But what use is he going to be if he's A, been tranquilized and B, been given the antidote? One of yours. What have you done? He done fucked up is what he done. Impenetrable. Run the fuck away, lay on the floor, pretend that you're already dead. Hopefully he steps over you and not on you. You know, not that I've ever been, but I have always heard that New York is a dangerous, chaotic place. And now I know why. Give me a real fight! Oh shit, Betty, you're gonna have to give Bruce an hand job or something. Get his heart rate going, because we need him right now. Oh my days, that's one way to get your heart rate going, I suppose. And he doesn't even know if he's going to change. He's just going to take the risk like that. Oh, he didn't change. Oh, I thought he was going to change. I thought he was going to change. Plot twist. He didn't. Come on, how Oh! Yay! Oh, the mutated Hulk is stronger than the Incredible One. Maybe we gave him the title of Incredible Hulk too soon. He just seems like mediocre Hulk compared to the other one. I mean, side note, look at all the damage and carnage that is being caused. This is an expensive night for the government. Mediocre Hulk, you could do this. I believe in you. I don't even know if there's an incredible Hulk too, you know, so I am not convinced that he ain't gonna die. How are we gonna go about defeating this mutant alien freak? I didn't know he had that power. Super clap. Oh, turn around and clap him! Ooh. Ooh, shit. Uh, what's the point of using weapons, though? I don't understand. You are a weapon yourself. Any last words? Hulk! 
Smash. Smash. Yay! There's a catchphrase. I was waiting for that in this whole motherfucking film. Oh, Betty, stay back. Don't be a dickhead. Why, why are we stopping? Why did you say that? No, don't stop. It's always when you stop that they get the upper hand. Y'all definitely earned your incredible status after that. And just like that, my green bitch went from villain to hero. <laughs> oh, Betty. Wait, now what? Who's this bitch? I know, I don't think I'm ever going to know who that bitch was. Mate, you can tell I was invested in that action sequence. I'm sweating, I'm dripping like an egg sandwich. And that M bit, I'm so confused. You know, I hate to say I told you so, General, but that super soldier program was put on ice for a reason. I've always felt that hardware was much more reliable. It's Tony Stark, my babes! What if I told you we were putting a team together? Who was we? Need to see him make a cameo in this shit. Oh, I was not expecting that. I mean, I know they're all linked up, but I didn't think they were just gonna pop up in each other's movies like that. Okay, so that is The Incredible Hulk done and dusted. Let's talk about it. So, unlike Iron Man, we start off this film with Bruce Banner already being inflicted by his superhero ness. Turns out there were some experiments going on that went terribly wrong, or terribly right, depending on who you're asking. And now when my man's heart rate goes up too much, he turns into this green monster. So he disappeared and ran away to Brazil, was in correspondence with a Mr. Blue to try to find a cure. But then the military got hold of him. Well, they didn't get hold of him, but they tried to get hold of him. But he fucked off, went back to America, was reunited with his past lover, who was also involved in these experiments. But her father was like, we should probably try kill him. Let's get another man who is going to be super powerful and is going to be able to stand up to him and, you know, try to fuck him up. But then the other man who wanted to become more powerful wanted more power, so turned into a mutant Hulk. And then the Incredible Hulk and the mutant Hulk Fucked each other up for a very long time. Fucked up the whole city of New York as well. And then he ran away, the Incredible Hulk, ran away to British Columbia to do what? I don't really know what he's, why he's there. But then Tony Stark comes in at the end and is like, I need to talk to him because I want him on my side. And do you know what? I kind of agree. Rather have him as a friend than an enemy, for fuck's sake. I felt like this film, because I am going to compare pair it to the Iron Man a lot because um, they're all part of the same universe and that's what I'm going to do. This film was less humorous than Iron Man. There were a bit, there were some funny moments in it. I chuckled a few times. Um, but I feel like there was more, the action was more intense. And the special effects and CGI were incredible. On paper, this is not my kind of film. Watching it in front of my face, my jaw was on the floor after time. Another really strong show in that two hours that it took me to watch flew by, which is always a good indication. And I'm excited to get on to the next movie and continue through the marathon. 
Um, I'm not entirely sure what the next movie is right this second on this day. I'm going to have to look it up. I am going in chronological order, um, watching them as they were released. So if you want to, you know, take your time out of your day to tell me and save me a one minute Google search, then feel free to tell me what the film is coming up next. And if you want to be with me while we watch it, and you haven't done so already, I highly recommend you hit the subscribe button, because we are going to be ploughing through these all year long. If you like this one, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And down in the comment section, what I want to know so far is, who do you prefer? Tony Stark or Bruce Banner? And I want you to answer without giving any spoilers away for any future endeavours that the Marvel series is going to go on. Just as it stands right now. I mean, this film was good. I enjoyed it. I really did. I would recommend it to people. But <sighs> Tony Stark and his humour, damn, got me. But yes, I really hope to see you um, in the next step of this journey. Um, and if I don't, I'm going to get really sad. I might actually get really angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry.